So as I promised that I'm gonna do a video about um, my other wheel set that I have, the Campagnolo Bora WTO 60. So I've been using this wheels for one year and a half now. Amazing wheels, I just switched to lightweight, which I have a problem now with. I'm gonna talk in another video about it. Uh, but now let's talk about a little bit about the um, Campagnolo Bora WTO 60. It's not the Ultra, it's just the normal ones. These wheels, they have a 60 millimeter deep section. I like the matte finishing on them. And I have to say they are pretty strong, the, the rim bed. I'm crossing over like humps and bumps and everything, potholes. And I haven't had any any issue with uh, with them. They are very 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 strong. They are not extremely stiff wheels. They are a bit um, soft. The power transmission is not like uh, on the other wheels that I have. The lightweight. It's a little bit uh, delayed. I'm not a pro rider, but I can still feel this. With the lightweight, oh my god, the the power transmission is absolutely incredible another thing that i love about these wheels is that they are very 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 fast and um, tailwinds oh my god they ride like a dream really you can hear them cutting through the wind even on them it's written campagnolo bora wto 60 wind tunnel optimized currently having the Continental GP5000 tubeless on them. I always use the tubeless and I will always use. Pretty amazing uh, with uh, lower tire pressure like 80, 85. Normally I'm riding 90 to be more comfortable the, the rides, but you can ride it even at lower uh, pressure. One more thing that I want to say about these wheels is that the price point is very, very, very accessible. I paid for this one's 1,400 euro, which will translate to $1,550. So price is really amazing for the performance that you are getting. I like that. Also, I'm not sure about the difference between the normal ones, the normal Bora and the Bora Ultra, which they look the same, just they have written here, Ultra. And um, as I understood from one of my friends who has them, uh, it's that the spokes are a little bit different. As I understood, they are integrated here or something like that. Um, the hubs, they are different, they are ceramic speed, ceramic bearings. Um, and the weight is the same, pretty much the same. They are, they are a little bit stiffer than this. And the price is like $1,000 more. So that's the one of the main difference, that the price is $1,000 more. I'm happy with this ones. I'm going to wait now another two weeks until my uh, rear wheel lightweight is coming back and I'm going to start using this and those a little bit more. Some people are saying that you cannot climb with uh, these wheels because they are for flat roads. I went to Europe, to Andorra last year and I was climbing pretty well with them. Descending is like a dream, yeah. And of course, here in Qatar, we have uh, flat roads and I'm really enjoying them. But even on the climbs, you can use them very well. As you know, the specialized uh, S-Works Venge is not a climbing bike. It's an aero bike, but does well, very well on climbing as well. You just need strong legs. That's it about the Campagnolo Bora WTO 60. I really love these wheels. Um, my opinion, if you are looking into Campagnolo, they are very easy to service. You should get a pair of this. 
if you are looking for something very aerodynamic. They are in the same range with DT Swiss 1400, with um, Reynolds wheels, so in the same category they, they fall. Pretty amazing wheels to, to ride, not very stiff, as I said, they are very, very comfortable, they will not break your back. So, what do you think? Would you get a pair of this? They look sick on the bike, really they look sick. I, lo I love the, um, the three spokes, how they are put, and when you ride as well, they look pretty amazing. Let's hear the hub as well. Lovely.